Hello, everyone. Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. Our first guest today is Meg James. She's the executive officer of the Hilton Head Area Home Builders Association. Good to see you. Good nice to, to see meet you. you officially. Yes. And you're here for a specific reason to talk about the Low Country Home and Garden Show this year, which is coming up. And it's going to look a little different, be a little different, the show, the tour. So, Meg, why don't you just dive right on <laughs> in and tell us why it's and how it's going to be different. So we're excited. So it's happening May 14th through the 16th. Okay. And this year we're it's a new show, we're in a new location, and we're just excited for new ideas for the home. So typically we are at the Buckwalter Recreation Center, mm -hmm. an indoor facility. Mm -hmm. uh, we've taken it outside. We're just right up the road at Buckwalter Place. We, um, we're, our hosts are Ace, Huser Ace Hardware, Station 300, uh, Southern Barrel. We're in the rear uh, parking lot area of their establishments. And then we also get to use the future site of the Buckwalter Veterinary Clinic and Pet Hotel, which we're super excited about. And I know they're super excited to bring that to Bluffton. So it's it's new and different in that it's, out, it's an outdoor mm -hmm. event. Um, we're gonna run it Friday and Saturday from 10 to four and Sunday from 12 to four. And um, the Parade of Homes Tour this year is a, is a hybrid. It's a different event, too. There's not a lot of inventory. There's not a lot of homes for people I to know. actually get into and check out. So we've, we've, I do have a handful of builders participating. We do have homes that folks will be able to physically go and see. Uh, but the other side of that is we're going to be able to do in-person virtual tours at the home show. So they'll be able to walk through the virtual tour with the builder, still get to meet the builder, have that um, personal touch, talk about upgrades, changes, additions, things to that effect. Um, but yeah. So those are just a little well, bit of the changes. Sounds, <laughs> it sounds very exciting and very well thought through. A lot of planning for this year to, to oh, readjust yeah. because of COVID. How has COVID affected the Home Builders Association for this past year? <laughs> well, it's no surprise that it's very busy. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's moving here. They can't build the homes fast <laughs> enough to get people into them. We've all been stuck in our homes, so we're wanting to upgrade. We're putting in new patio, pavers, pools, all sorts of things. So it, it's affected our industry just in that we're really busy, but we're blessed. We're, we were mm -hmm. deemed essential, and so we're blessed to have been con able to continue working. Um, but m my job, I think, is to help consumers match them up with someone that's available. Because we've got several members who are just completely booked out six months. They're not even entertaining a consultation. So my job is to figure out which ones are still taking taking those consultations can help folks and put them together. And this event, the Home and Garden Show, is our biggest consumer-facing event. So let's go back to the show. Again, the dates, the time frame, how you can register, and what else besides you know talking with builders and seeing the various subcontractors and the various trades, what else might be happening? And I love that it's outside. I yeah, think that's, I think, yeah, honestly, I think that's everyone's be, really embraced I think that's it. Cool. I'm grateful for that. Yes. Um, so again, it's March 14th through the 16th, yes. Friday and Saturday, 10 to four, Sunday, 12 to four. On Sunday, we welcome the Bluffton Farmers Market. So it's just, it's a reason to come back, come Friday, meet the vendors, and then come back on Sunday and do some shopping. We have food trucks there daily. We have um, do-it-yourself do workshops. We have Low Country Master Gardeners that will be there. Folks love to bring their, their gardening questions to them. Tailors will have a spring flower sale. They're also doing workshops, uh, cooking demonstrations, product demonstrations. We have National Kitchen and Bath Association um, experts there, so folks can bring their plans in. They can help with selections. We've got residential designers. There's something, if, if you're in the market to do a project at your house, you need to come to the Home and Garden Show. <laughs> and so the daily schedule, where do we find that, Meg? And and tickets as well. So lowcountryhomeandgardenshow.com. Uh, there's, there's a big green link at the top to purchase your tickets. They're $3 a day or $5 for the weekend. And that includes both Home Show and Parade of Homes. So this is the first time that one ticket gets you in everywhere. And then the day of the event, we're just going to do $5 cash tickets. And I also encourage folks to check out the exhibitors because a lot of them have purchased tickets ahead of time and they've, they're uh, giving promotion codes mm -hmm. to folks so you can get your pass for free. Oh, sounds exciting. Yeah. So it's so nice to meet you and I know we'll have you back yes, again. Yes. Meg James with the Home Builders Association. We have a big event coming up that we just talked about, so go to the website. And thank you so much for being thank with you. us. And we'll be right back uh, for the next guest on Talk of the Town.